Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and today I'm doing a flip through of my Classic Happy Planner. This is probably going to be a very long video so I'm going to hop right into it. I have two inch discs. These are not clear but they're not frosted either. Like they're not the crystal clear but they're not frosted. And they're really big as you see this planner is pretty chunky. And so I have this clear cover and this came from Planner Press. Um, so here this is my clip and it's the shape of Africa with a heart in it. And I got this from Potty Mouth Planners. I really love her stuff. I love this clip. And on the back, I just have a start here um, card by Cloth and Paper. This motif dashboard is from Cloth and Paper as well. I just love the aesthetic of having the way, like how this look. So I put this here. If I thought I would use this all year, I would order the second one to have as my back cover. This is from Happy Planner. The cover to these cards are in from Happy Planner. All these cards are from Cloth and Paper. One is double-sided, one is just like other ones just have other cards from Happy Planner on the back. The Saphony one, I believe, is the one that's not uh, double-sided. So, and so here is um, my, this planner belongs to page from Cloth and Paper. It was in one of my insert sets that I got from Cloth and Paper. My name came from either, this um, came from either Budget with D or Chrissy Michelle, um, or Chrissy Marie Designs. One of them i don't really remember um but yeah uh, let me bam my light turn this light on so you can see better um so this is for here then it just has notes on the back then this came from infinite lotus i really love this like this 23 it's so pretty um i really like how this looks so i just have this here and this is just a year at a glance it came with one of my um again insert sets from cloth and paper so i just have that in here it has notes on the back Holidays came from my insert sets from Cloth and Paper. This table of contents came from Hey Planner Girl Hey. And so like I have 12 dividers in here. So I just have a uh, front and back. If not, I probably would have printed this on vellum or acetate. This came from my minimal planner. It's a tech refresh. Then this came from the card holder. It came from Fancy Plants Co. These cards, let me pull them out so you can see. This card came from Lotus Paper Co. All three of these came from Poi and Hun, and I just have them color-coded. And then this is my inbox one. And all these came from Sticky Monsters Co. And um, they're personalized. And this is what they look like. I really love these so much. So I'm going to put this back in here. And I just, like, enjoy having all mine. Um test cards in this i actually got this idea from create what Bree. that's why that's in here <laughs> um so this also came from stance girl monsters co this is personalized i wish i would have told her to take the bottom parts off because it's like a repeat of skincare skincare and like then everything i do for that so that's what i have here this came a lot of my stuff came from all my sub boxes throughout the year <laughs> from cloth and paper so i have like so much cloth and paper stuff in here because i was like oh, i'm just going to use all my stuff up so this came from one of the sub boxes from cloth and paper and here um these dividers are really thin they don't bulk up your planner i have a scripts creation um stickers on here to mark my dividers and then i just have these um here i got these from amazon i have these on here and so like this first one is just a brain dump trigger list that i got from lotus paper co um as well okay so then here i have just some sticky notes let me and so like i have the appointment sticky notes from cloth and paper and then I have um, some more sticky notes with cloth and paper that came with a sub box. I don't care about the graduation one. This was more for um, for ZK. So we're going to block that out. And so then I got I bought these and I bought these as well. These two came in a sub box. So I just have these sticky notes in here. These came from Poi and Hun. I really like these inbox sheets here. So it's front and back. And on it, you have urgent, soon, someday, so you can make your own key and then use that key here. Then it has started working on it, complete it, and then you can do that here. And it just has, like, if you want to put anything extra with your key. This I printed on acetate because I used them quite a bit last year. I was like, I don't want to keep printing them. So I print on acetate and I just have some clear sticky notes here. You could put any sticky notes you want here. You can use the clear because I like the aesthetic. I got this from Etsy. And this came from Perfectionism Prints on Etsy. And I meant to 
print it in color, but it is what it is. So on the back of it, I have my GTD primer and then my Mind Sweep and then um, the weekly review. I don't print these out all the time. I just kind of go through it and make sure I'm keeping up with the weekly review. And it's my project sheets that I got from this whole GTD set came from uh, Gangs Malison on Etsy. And it has, I just have projects, next actions, waiting for, someday maybe. And this is one of my favorite dashboards. I just printed it on some um, Happy Planner. Some No, I got paper from Planner Press and I printed it on this paper. And so this is now my project section. And I just have this card from Cloth and Paper um, in here. This is part of the hustle side hustle kit for our set from um, Cloth and Paper. So I just have this here. I got this from Etsy. This is my project um, overview. So I can make sure like I'm keeping up with my projects. This came with another project set I got from Etsy. This is a Kanban board. And so how I'll do this is like whatever I'm doing with each project. I'll list all of that out. And then I'll just like move it. And once I'm done with all of the uh, things to do, I'll just remove them and start some new stuff. And so here is my um, uh, my board I got from Cloth and Paper. I believe it also came in a side hustle set. I don't remember. These came in a side hustle set. I'm not going to use them as client requests. Uh, so I just have them. I'm going to use them like project sheets. And I'll just probably white out the client part. This is a wash or something. These are actually the project sheets that came with it. And so this is the um, Horizontal Weekly from Cloth and Paper. Last year they didn't have, well this year, the ones that I used this year didn't have a monthly. I wish it would have stayed that way, but I understand why they put the monthly with it because a lot of people actually like this. So I'm going to try to figure out how to use this um, set in the monthly. So I'll probably just put deadlines for projects on a monthly and because I don't necessarily have a project section in my business planner, I will probably put um project like stuff here too because i will put all of my projects business or otherwise will all go in here so we will have that here and so um this is how i'm going to set it up project priority planned and actual and then like i'll list whatever my projects are and then like what i'm going to do for today and so then here i have like a list of stuff that I'll do let me put this here this is where I'll put like a list of things that I want to do and I'll put them throughout wherever the day is going so that's what I have in my project section here I have my um this is my one of my favorite cloth and paper dashboards and so I just have this in here and so here is my yearly section or my calendar section and so this is from the Norris Cove budget box I love it so much so in here I just have birthdays so far is what I just marked in here and then here I have, um, this is the Infinite Lotus um, quarterly set as well. So in here I'm going to list like anything that's upcoming and things I want to learn. Is I'm going to use this section right here. And then here you have um, your goals and then you have the quarters um, here. So then you can like write, so I plan on doing a 12 week year. So with the 12 week year, I probably list like what I want my goals to look like here, here and here and here and then like, like break them down for the month in here and i do have a goal section so you'll see how i'm going to use all that together and then we have all that and then i have my um uh so this is things that you don't do on a continual basis so i just have here like physicals eye appointments uh self-reflection taxes registration changing out air filters tire rotations deep cleaning house oil changing stuff like that and then I just have this family meeting create from Create with Brie. I really love this. And so this came from Fancy Plants Co. And I printed it out on vellum. And then this is my monthly section. These came from cloth and paper. They're actually very thick. I like these. And these dividers, I have the white ones. They came from Villa Beautiful. And then I just took my monthly sections from one of my, um, I believe my weekly, uh, horizontal weekly kit from cloth and paper and I just put these here so this is what I'm going to use for the monthly these are the um at ad monthly admin sheets from cloth and paper the way that I plan on using the monthly admin sheets is by um I want to 
I eventually want to go back to school and get my PhD. So the way I'm going to use this to go back to school and get my PhD, I need to start practice writing again. So I'm going to like create this schedule for writing. So this is going to be like a writing schedule. I'm going to have to be very realistic. If I could only do like half an hour of writing, I'm going to only do half an hour of writing. And it doesn't necessarily have to be something geared towards something. I want it to have purpose, but if not, I just really want to get this together so this is going to be like a basically a writing schedule here for the monthly and so i got these from etsy these are from annalena designs i printed this one in color and then i printed one in monochrome i think i like the color better but i thought like this had everything that i would need to really make sure i'm doing a good review for the monthly and so all the rest of this is the same i only have three months in here didn't want to bulk up my planner too much so then i have this Lao Tzu, um insert let me get this. I have this Lao Tzu insert right here. Well, not insert, but Lao Tzu um, dashboard from Cloth and Paper. I do have the Lao Tzu hourly sets from Cloth and Paper. That's how I got this um, divide this dashboard right here. And so then in this, this is a cloth. This is by Happy Planner. Then I have a Cloth and Paper and a Villa Beautiful card. And both of these cards are from Cloth and Paper. And so. Then this is my weekly set, and I got this from my minimal planner, the weekly preps. This was a freebie because it's the key. I just printed it on the back. So here I'm going to put my brain dumps. And then throughout the week, so like I had in my A5, I had hourly and my weekly. Here I can do both. So I can put um because in my daily plan, I only plan the day, either like the night before or the day of. So here I can do my time blocking of what I need my time to be. So five to six. Seven is my morning routine time. That's where I do my meditation, I pray, I do my Bible study, workout, and all that good stuff. And then um, seven to three is my work block. I do whatever I need to do for work. Then three to five is typically for the kids. I prepare their snacks so when they come home, um, they'll have their snack ready. And then we will do um, homework um, together. So that time is devoted for them. And so like between five... Um, in 5.30, I typically let my mind rest. You need to have some rest time because if I'm just going and going and going, that's how you get burnt out. So I typically try to have some time to like rest and from like 5.30 to 6.30, um, like, and I'm just doing Monday cause Monday, I typically, we don't have anything on Mondays. So unless I have reels, I don't have anything to do on Monday. So 5.30 to like 6.30, I either like work on my goals or work on my business or whatever I want to do for that day. And so like, I'll put like things I need to do. Like I'll go plan on my whole week up here of all the things that I need to do. And I'm a lister. So I really like how I can just list all of my things that I have going on um, there. So I just have one month in here. Um, of this and then we get to once we get past this we now have um oh yeah and i do have like the top tab these came from um oh, planner pr planner press as well so i have the top tabs to go to where i need them to go and so these are um the week's uh reviews from cloth and paper i just have quite a few in here and so this came from cloth and paper as well i really like this i did jack it up because i printed this out and um and so like as you see i printed out my task uh key but it wasn't fully dry so it got on here so if i ever forget my task key i can always go look on here so i have that here this came from my minimal planner this is just the nighttime routine it fits my nighttime routine almost to a t so I like this is perfect this is came from canva and the only thing i changed was consistency builds habits i have my morning and my evening routine here as well these came from the side hustle um box from cloth and paper and i really just wanted for the um habit tracker for the week so that way i can check my habits throughout the week um and maybe i'll use this section for like notes or something i don't know yet and so here, this is going to be my main calendar where everything goes. So this is where, like, I'll really put my goals, list I will need to do. I never use these for bills, do. I always list all my pays in here. That's how I use it now, too. So that's what I'll continue to do. And this is where, I, like, I'll list, like, what we have going on, Bible study, church, um, tap, ballet, karate, whatever's happening. And it's my uh, important dates and stuff like that. So then I have cloth and papers. Um, it's really a week on four pages, but they call it a daily. So I use it, the way I use mine is I put the uh, weather here. 
and then I put um, like my main task and any time task I put them here and anything if there's not a space for task after my time task I put the rest here they broke the line which I don't know if I care I don't like that so he, the way I use mine is I put my goals here and then I put my actions and let me see if mm -mm. I'm gonna show you guys how that looks so this is how I do it now and so like um today when I'm recording this I read um because I'm reading a Christmas story because it's Christmas time I read Christmas story and then I'm um, I meant to put weight loss but so for weight loss um is my intermittent fasting so because these smear this color smears I don't fill it until I do it so this will also be weight loss and this will be work out which I'm going to work out um later on I don't really do it in the morning but I'm not I wasn't feeling it so that's what I'll do here so this is how I use it and this makes sure that like I'm doing daily tasks to reach my goals um so that's what I use that for. So now in the break, I guess maybe I can just put goals and then the actions. And I just use this to like list out stuff I need to do. And then I just have the top tab to go to it. So that's what I have um, in here. And then when I get here, this is my finance section. This um, here came from North Cove in the budget box. I really like this. So I just have some flags in the back of it um, to like color code that. And so I have this here, and then this came from Fancy Plants Co. I also got her budget box. I got both the budget boxes, y'all. I have so many budget items, like it's ridiculous, but I love both of those boxes. So don't make me choose. And I just have some journaling cards here. This came from Fancy Plants Co. Cloth and paper. So this came from um, this came in the Fancy Plants Co. budget box. This came in North Co. budget box. Fancy Plans budget box. This was one of the cloth and paper budget boxes. The other two ellipses. This is the third one that came in at. This came with Norris Coe's budget box. I really love it. And I like the way they look together. So I just have them together like this. This came from the Fancy Plans Co. budget box. And Fancy Plans Co. budget box. And this came from Fancy Plans Co. And this came from Norris Coe. So this is Norris Coe's budget uh, finance bundle. From her box and i have this one here because it has the holidays this is fancy plants co um and i just have this here because it has so this is stay in here because it has like the budget categories the smart financial goals uh, the yearly overview subscription tracker um income tracker and then so now we get into the monthly budget tracker i've done detailed um unboxings of both of these budget planners so i'm not gonna go too much into this so i just have like my budget stuff in here um, for that and then when we get to this section I just have cloth and paper um, sticky notes here under expense chat tabs because I don't want to I can't I don't really there's no space to bulk this up anymore is it no so I needed something that wouldn't be bulky that will help me so I just have the expenses here and I just have it on this tab sticky note and then um, this credit score came from North Co. this is from the budget box with I mean, with uh, Fancy Plants Co. This was from North Co. Fancy Plants Co. And Fancy Plants Co. Fancy Plants Co. So this came from my Etsy set that I ordered, I believe, from Mindful Hustle Lab. So it has this online order, a gift tracker. And these came from uh, North Co. Her downloadable budget set and i use these this is going to be for fixed expenses and this is going to be for variable expenses so i use these in here for that this budget subscription came from mindful hustle lab so i just have that here and this auto maintenance i got this from etsy as well the mindful hustle lab came from etsy too this came from cloth and paper next is my home section and so here this is the one of the the ruler card came with cloth and paper i just have some stuff in it from the home this came from planet press this is from exquisite creations i just like the way it looks so I have it here. So I just have this here. So like if I run out of stuff for the house, I can just like make a quick note of it. So when I'm preparing my grocery list and stuff, I'll look here to see what I may need to get. And this 10 minute tidy and the 30 uh, day declutter and the prepare your mind for decluttering. This set all came from Etsy and it has like other stuff in it too. And this has like a much bigger set as well. It's actually blue and it's actually yellow, but I printed it 
and monochrome and i really like these it also has summer and fall which i'll print once we're done with winter and spring and i love that this have like things that you can do for each one and then here i just have um chores these came from cloth and paper and again just to break down each section within my sections and so these are the infinite lotus um weeklies and on one page i initially bought this for something different and then i changed my mind of what i was going to do for that so i now use these i'm going to use this to like keep track of my like any groceries or something or if i have an idea for a meal and so like i went ahead and just i created lines in here and then i have i have so many breakfast lunch dinner and snack stickers this is actually perfect so this is what i'm going to meal prep with and so like i just have the month in here and then i just have these from happy planner just because i want to try some new dishes so i'm going i have a couple of these in here to try some new dishes these came from Penis Planner Co. This is the responsibility log. I keep this in here for the kids for their chores, their activities, um, things that they need to do throughout the week. And then this also came from Peanut Planners Co. It's a doctor visits list. And I have this. I really love this. Um, I put this in here for any visits that's coming up. And so this came from cloth and paper. And then here is the um, cover. For, this is my personal section this is the cover for um the wellness section so i want the actually initially bought these to go into my monthlies i didn't realize it was back to back so you see they're back to back like this i didn't realize they're back to back so i put them in here when i wanted to like plan out my workouts and stuff like that so that's how i'm going to use these two here then i have this this is going to be ideas for um gym workouts and then ideas for at home workouts i got this from crystal plans and this was a freebie and i just have this in here so i liked it this came from pretty pink planners and i just have it in here again because i like it so this skin check in and this skin profile came from one set that i got from um etsy and I, it has like a whole bunch of other stuff in it, but this skin check-in and skin profile was really, really helpful. So I put that in here. So here's my skincare routine. It has morning and evening. These were printables from Etsy as well. And on the back, this is part of the set too. It has another, the beauty routine. It's your body, your hair, and your nails that we kind of keep track of everything in here. And this came from, and I just have like the month in here. And this came from um, Morning Rose um, Society on Etsy. And I didn't print this one out right. That's how I got to see this. And I was like, eh, I'm still going to use it because this part is still usable. So here's what I'm going to do. My track, my weight and my measurement so I don't have to create anything or print anything out. So I'm just going to put like W for weight, A for arms or whatever. Um, and then just like whatever date that I do it and just put that in here. And so then we get into the wellness section and it gets this came from cloth and paper and it just basically have your activity your nutrition your notes uh your sleep your mood your water your steps all that good stuff is in there so i just have the month in here this is it's really thick so if you got like it's three months at a time you can make a whole planner with just that by itself this came from cloth and paper and i love to read so um and that's why this says to read and so, like, this is the cloth and paper Ali Clip collaboration. This is the, um, this journaling card came with the reading set. I have some of the stuff in it, but I do have a reading planner. So, um, but what I have in here is just stuff I want to track, um, in here. So, in here, I have my reading log. And so, the reason why my reading log is in here and not in my reading planner is because I'm going to keep track of like all the things that I read and I'll go through this planner probably much more than I will my reading planner so it'll be easier to just keep track of it in here and then here I just have my monthly reads and again because my uh, reading planner is also a uh, happy planner classic side and so I have my monthly reads in here um do I want to put this into my reading planner let me see Mm, I want to keep it in here and I keep track of like my monthly reads in here and then here it's just like I just have some index pages like if I want to take notes if I'm not near my reading planner a vocabulary and a wish list I do have a wish list in my reading planner um as well so that's what I have here and I'm going to clip this back together there we go 
and on the back of it yes because again i have this planner with me more than i do my reading my reading planner stays in my um section where i have my planners and this here is um where i'm like my everyday thing my my planner planner my thing thing so like i just have some sticky notes here they, all these came with the reading bundle from cloth and paper when we got it in our box and so here i just have movies to um it says to watch here this is my movie tracker and my tv show tracker i have like a whole set of this that i also got from etsy like all of it together these were only set that i actually used um so since these were only pages i used i decided to only use those pages this year this came from sam at the planner spot and i really liked it, it has like travel design stuff here and so i just this is my travel section and my trip overview and my travel itinerary my budget planner um to buy list and a packing list and then on the back and so like all this set came together it has some other stuff in it as well from etsy and this was a freebie i want to say either plan will be or crystal plans i don't remember which one if you want to know let me know i'll figure it out this came from happy not happy planner from cloth and paper these came from Infinite Lotus, and I have this in here to like just have a quick look at my goals. And I put this in here specifically, like I'm very intentional about stuff, but this I was super intentional about. Anything worthwhile requires work. Just remind me, because it's my goal section that we're in now, remind me that like my goals are important and they're worthwhile and they're going to take work and to put that. So this came from my minimal planner. It's trust the journey. In the back, it just says trust the journey, trust the process. Um, these came from the budget box with a North Cove. And so because I am doing the um, 12 week year, I'm going to like use these to map out all of that and any notes in here. And so here's like a goal mapping guide. I don't know exactly how I'm going to use that yet. This is from the self discovery set from cloth and paper. And this is the Ikigai, Ikigai that you go through. And then here is the alignment um, set here. And again, I've done detailed unboxing of all of those things move this out the way of all those things so i just have this paper clipped here <clears throat> and then this mindset card from came from cloth and paper this is from cloth and paper as well now we're in a goal setting set stuff that i got from point hunt and this is to like help me map out what i want my goals to actually um be so i have all that here and it has your big goals and all of that good stuff and then here is where I will actually use the cloth and paper goal stuff and so it'll list out like what are my goals um actions to reach goals so it's kind of different than the point hun and then my point hun set comes here and this is where like I will go to actually track what all of that looks like so this is where I put the monthly goals the daily goals the weekly goals all that will go here and so our um our August box, which was where the books came in at, was late. So we got this as a free printable. So I printed this out here. This, um, I had the We Shoot Wish You'll Not Name Planner. And so I used to use it for social media. And I just was going through all my stuff and throwing away old stuff I don't use. And I found this. I was like, so let me put this in my social media set. So this is probably the most colorful thing that I have in here. So we're in social media. I have the point on huh? social media inserts in here in here i just have like um this is the cover and this is what it looks like for the monthly you have space for hats hashtags notes weekly goals the weekly goals perfectly line up with the week the here you have your account and social media and so here i have these are from roro from etsy and these are the dashboard layout and i don't need the whole dashboard layouts but i just like i use these because i really like them for social media like that was probably my favorite um set to use for social media and so like here you can do like if you just do like tiktoks you can name what you do for your tiktoks every day if you you can then list out like certain platforms or whatever for the day and so i just have these front and back here's some notes that i got from cloth and paper and one of our sub boxes these passwords uh, came from one of my insert sets and here contacts also came from an insert set and then I just have these from hey planner girl hey I just like them so I keep them with me this list to make came from Lotus Paper Co this is um I use my Pasha pen for this but this is the um Pomodoro set from cloth and paper and then I have 
This is from Create with Bree. It's a planner routine. And this is from the in Google. And it's for GT Day. I really like this one. So I decided to keep it back here. This folder actually came from Fancy Plants Co. And then it gets this clear um, cover. So this is my 2023 um, planner. I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through. It is so chunky. Everything's in here that I need, which is why I don't have like a whole bunch of other planners. Um, I do have my work planner, my business planner. Like I could make a section in here like work, but I like the cloth and paper spiral planner for my work planner. And so plus when I go to work, I don't have to, cause I had to go in the building sometimes. I don't have to carry this chunky thing around. I just grab my spiral planner and go. So I have my work planner, my business planner and business isn't in here because it will be too much. And my face planner, my face is super important to me. So that had to have its own planner. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this flip through. I will see you in another video. Don't forget to rate with a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell, and comment down below. I'll see you in another video. Peace.